Servus, Freunde, mein Name ist Jimmy Cage. Servus, Freunde, mein Name ist Jimmy Cage. And I'm Dennis the Buddy Meister. Today we talk about the 2012 Hindi language mystery thriller Kahani by director Sujoy Ghosh. Kahani stars Vidya Balan, Paramparatha Chatterjee, Navasudin Siddiqui, Idranail Zengupta and Saswatha Chatterjee. Kahani means story and the story of this movie is quite intriguing and the genre is one that we didn't really tackle so far in our reviews. As said before, Kahani is a mystery thriller and therefore it also contains many aspects of a classic crime story with lots of investigation, political schemes and cover-ups. We follow Vidya Bakshi, a pregnant woman searching for her missing husband in Kolkata during the festival Durga Puja. She gets help from policeman Zadyoki Sinha called Rana, but no one in Kolkata seems to have even heard of her husband. So either he never went to Kolkata or everybody's lying. It is great how this mystery gets slowly unraveled and more and more secrets and conspiracies get uncovered with time. And all of this is embedded in the quite exceptional environment that is Kolkata. It's a nice change of atmosphere, but it was also one of many obstacles for director Sujay Ghosh to get a hold of a producer. But one mesmerizing thing about Kahani is this representation of Kolkata. You get a good feel for the city, its people, its streets, buildings. We, or rather the characters, spend a lot of time traveling through Kolkata by tram, underground, bus or car and so we get to see many sides of this very congested urban area. It's really like you're there with Vidya and Rana. And talking about those two, I thought Vidya Balan and Paramparata Chatterjee did a fantastic job as this crime-solving duo wading through the social layers of Kolkata and of course the layers of intrigue. And they had some loving and tender moments with a fleeting hint of romance too. Great chemistry. They played it very subtly and down to earth, but vehement when it was necessary, and that's why it comes across so realistically. And to have a pregnant woman as our protagonist is still very unusual. Navatsudin Zidiki as Khan, on the other hand, is a bit too much, don't you think? Yeah, Khan is a character that has to cope with a lot of pressure, I get that. But Siddiqui plays him a bit too aggressive for my taste. He really spouts out his commands like this, out, out. And well, that leaves him behind a tad too one-sided or incongruous, for lack of a better word. But then again you have the character of the assassin, Bob Biswas, played by Saswata Chatterjee, and he really has the makings of a cult figure. He's no Anton Shiger, but he's memorable nonetheless, with his strange quirkiness and of course his cold-blooded killings. A thing that threw me off from time to time were the odd or rather curious editing choices that Sujay Ghosh made right from the start, which, by the way, is very captivating because you don't know what the hell is going on. He makes a bunch of unnecessary jump cuts and this goes on for a large portion of the movie. It seemed odd to me too. The editing is very erratic and fast and sometimes too noticeable. But in some sequences it is a nice technical representation of the stressful and noisy daily life in Kolkata. But sometimes less is more and I would have appreciated moments where the editing and the quite shaky camera work would have come to a stop for a change. Just relax for a second and create a juxtaposition. The way it is, it's moving forward constantly, but a change of pace would have made it even more memorable. But I think it got better towards the end of the movie. That is the end that we can't really talk about. But before we get to that, I have to bring up the way that songs or passages of text are integrated into the movie. There are no song and dance sequences in this one. The songs are very organically weaved into the musical score by Vishal Shekhar. That's another exceptional and interesting stylistic choice that definitely contrasts many of the movies that we saw. But now back to the ending that we can't talk about. 30 minutes before the actual ending of the movie I thought Vidya lost her independence because she kind of gives in to the pressure of Khan and well only does what he tells her to do. But of course I was a bit hasty with my judgment about her. But that is all I can say without going into spoilers. There is a big twist at the end and some little ones before that. Is it a bit too sensational? <laughs> yeah. Are some of the smaller revelations silly? Yes, maybe. But it all kinds of fit together in a neat way and it undermines both our expectations and even prejudices. So I can't be too strict with the movie. So in German we'd say? Ein mysteriöser, sich ständig bewegender Thriller mit einer tollen Hauptfigur, der einen in den turbulenten Großstadtdschungel von Kalkutta führt, aber vielleicht auch etwas mehr Gespür für einen inszenatorischen und dramaturgischen Gegenpol vertragen könnte. I give Kahani 7 out of 10. It's more like 7.2, but I don't do that. For me it's also a 7 out of 10. It's more like 7.4, but I don't do that either. So that's it for today. We hope we got you interested in checking out Kahani for yourself. And tell us, is the sequel as good as the first movie? And what is your favorite Indian movie with a female protagonist? And also check out our other movie reviews and our Buddy Loves Bollywood special review of Three Idiots. 
Until then, you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can hit me up simply at the Buddy Meister. And also check out my podcast, Buddy Meister Scores, where I talk about the music of film, television, and video games. It's available on iTunes and Stitcher. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like, and make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell. Thank you.